There's also the conspiracy of silence um, from Global News to keep this information away from their viewership until they absolutely couldn't keep a lid on it anymore. And had Maxwell Ming Ma not ever been charged, we wouldn't have known the extent to which Global News was involved in all of this. You know what this reminds me of? Remember when I went to Camp Cloud? I was just thinking about this when you were talking. When I went to Camp Cloud and that APTN reporter had embedded himself with the activists, clearly acting as an activist, and he came down to accost me as I walked up uh, Burnaby Mountain to the encampment. Um, he never identified himself as a journalist. He clearly didn't want me there. But it, it's this sort of uh, mainstream media overlapping. They don't want to admit, look, I'm an activist. I admit it. They don't want to admit they're activists, and then they don't divulge that information to their viewer. There's just so much dishonesty that, I mean, it's really no uh, wonder that people can't trust the mainstream media. Yeah, there's one more thing. I mean, I was looking at um, when I saw the names of the three uh, adults who were charged. Obviously, I hopped on Google to see what uh, their social media profile was. And uh, Claire Buchanan and Kennedy Ray Herbert are... They're not super young, but they're women in their 20s, and they look like vegan, animal rights mm -hmm. people. I mean, uh, Claire Buchanan thinks she's a bit of an Instagram model or something. It's actually pretty <laughs> funny, but you can see she's always hugging animals, wearing vegetarian shirts. She's absolutely playing the part of the 20-something single vegetarian activist girl. I mean, that's no big surprise that she's cannon fodder for this action. And same with Kennedy Herbert, and obviously a 16-year-old girl too. I'm not gonna call them victims, although maybe the teenager is, but mm -hmm. the other two, they look the part. And you've got all these 20-something and teenage girls, and then you've got a 46-year-old man just happens to be in the mix? I don't believe it. Was he, an organizer? Was he paid? Did he pay them for the scoop? I just don't believe that a 46-year-old global news journalist from Edmonton just happened to fall in with 20-something girls from Calgary and Pincher Creek in a Fort McLeod uh, home invasion style robbery. I don't believe it was just coincidence, and I don't believe he's a peer of theirs. I believe he was some sort of a fixer or a boss or something more senior. Yeah, I, I think it all goes back to the fact that, you know, the coverage came from Global News Calgary about this event and the Hutterite farm chosen, uh, they say completely at random, I think chosen because they're Hutterites and they're pacifists and they won't fight back. So if you're using young girls and malnourished women as cannon fodder, the Hutterite farm is a safe place to break the law. Um, it's, it's all very strange how a news crew from two hours away was able to be there right as the story happened. You know, um, I've just looked up while we're chatting here on, on my laptop, uh, the Edmonton Journal coverage has post media CTV coverage. Yeah. They all mention Maxwell Ming Ma's name. None of them mention that he's with Global. Now, maybe that's just lazy and they didn't type his name into Google. But why w this to me is a scandal of the highest order in, from a journalistic point of view. Yes, it's a crime. Yes, it's eco activism um, that has to be nipped in the bud. If you th this is, I tell you, a lot of anti-oil sands extremists are watching how this is being treated. Mm -hmm. And so far, the RCMP and Doug Schweitzer have failed. But this is a journalistic crisis. It's fake news, and it's a, a news organization hiding its role in manufacturing the news. And I think that we need to do some digging here, Sheila, because obviously Canada's so-called media critics won't. Um, the, the company itself, using the present tense, Maxwell ming -Wah, is an employee at Global Edmonton. Obviously, they're just tickety-boo with this. They were fine with it the day before it was released in public. In fact, they were colluding to keep it a secret. This is a deep, deep rot. 
That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.